Just recently, Kratos Defense and Security Solutions announced that the latest XQ-58A Vanguard Stealthy Unmanned Combat Area Vehicle has successfully completed the third test flight. Notably, the US Air Force announced that the UAV XQ-58A Valkyrie had minor damage during landing. The notice said the XQ-58A Valkyrie completed the third flight of the Locos Atratable Strike Demonstration Program of Turbanite Ajuma Proving Ground, Arizona. Unfortunately, high surface winds and malfunction of the vehicle's provisional flight test recovery system resulted in a mishap after landing, which damaged the aircraft. Major General William Curley, commander of the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory, said, We continue to learn about this aircraft and the potential the technology can offer to the war fighter. This third flight successfully completed its objectives and expanded the envelope from the first two flights. We have gathered a great deal of valuable data from the flight and will even learn from this mishap. Ultimately, that is the objective of any experiment, and we are pleased with the progress of the Locos Attractable Try Demonstration Program. The XQ-58A Valkyrie, initially designated XQ-222, is part of the US Air Force's effort to acquire fast, stealthy armed drones that can fly and fight alongside man fighters. The idea here is a reusable drone that will be paired with the fifth generation fighters such as F-35 or F-22. It can keep pace with man planes but be tasked down for parts of the mission that you wouldn't send a human teammate to do. It is controlled by parent aircraft to accomplish tasks such as scouting or absorb enemy fire if attacked. It also be able to deploy as part of a swarm of drones with or without direct pilot control. Basically, with the XQ-58, an F-35 pilot be able to cover more space at a lower cost point. According to the information revealed, the new UCAV has a length of 9.14 meters and the span of its wings is 8.23 meters. The Valkyrie's combat load is 272 kilograms, and the weapons can be placed both on the wing balance and inside a special compartment. It features stereo technology with a trapezoidal fuselage with a giant edge, V-tail, and an S-shaped air intake. The XQ-58A Valkyrie is not a full-fledged fighter. It is more suitable for the destruction of the air defense systems, such as the Russian S-400 and S-500. It is planned that the Valkyries, each of which is capable of carrying two small diameter guided bombs, will be in the forefront of the attacking orders and take upon themselves the first blow of air defense. Their main target will be enemy radar, anti-aircraft missile launchers, air defense command posts. The new XQ-58A Valkyrie unmanned aerial vehicle is expected to serve as an inexpensive surveillance, electronic warfare, and attack drone, with an additional capability of being able to act in concert with a manned combat aircraft, known as the Loyal Wingman concept. Kratos hopes to sell its new drone to the Air Force for $3 billion apiece if it orders up to 99 units, or $2 billion each for orders above 100 units a year. It can be noticed that XQ-50S payload capability is quite small compared to many fighters. However, it offers one significant strength that more than offsets vulnerabilities posed by its limited weapons and speed is incredibly cheap. At the price revealed by Kratos, it was equivalent to a Patriot missile. Compared to expensive F-35s, the XQ-58 has a huge advantage, and perhaps this is how Americans will train the game in the future. This aircraft would make it difficult for even the best anti-aircraft platforms thanks to their stealthy design, but because of their numbers and low cost, 
It wouldn't matter if they were shot down. Using Vanquish for the initial brush would severely limit American losses in terms of high-dollar platforms and pilots who are dealing the enemy a devastating blow. My video of HQ-58A Vanquish ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Goodbye and see you again.